when I came out here today um, on the front of this hive, there's a small cluster of bees by the entrance, and I don't really see a whole lot of activity in the other in the other hive. So I'm curious as to what's going on with that. And my main goal today is just, you know, go through this real quick, and make sure they're doing all right. Uh, I don't plan on having a real long video today, but you never know. There's the queen already on that frame. And hopefully you can see her, but she's right here. Um, this frame is pretty full of nectar and honey. It looks like there's some eggs in that, a few of those cells, but it's hard to tell. So let me check a couple other frames first. Make sure she's doing her job. And yes, there's eggs in these frames. And there's some cap brood. And there's eggs in this side also. So she's doing her job. And they have space. Tuning. This is a nice frame of brood with honey and nectar. A lot of honey and nectar on this side and brood. And I think after I finish pulling this frame, I'll be done on this hive. pretty good it's a nice frame of brood that's half of a frame of brood they got a lot of a uh, actually now it's a full frame of brood there's larva cap cells they're working on honey stores at the top And I know I just said I'm gonna stop with this frame, but this frame here is the one that they were building out. So I wanna get an idea of what they've done. Let's see if they've done anything else. A little bit, not a whole lot. But they got nectar and cap brood and some larva. All right, so this hive's doing well. And there's actually a lot of bees in here. And I did bring one inner cover, which I'm gonna put on this hive. Um, I wasn't able to make up any more, I didn't have time. But being as I had one, I figured I'd use it. not to get them too stirred up. I meant to bring a shim out here for this because it does have a little bit of rock. Let me see if I can find something to wedge underneath. a little better. And the queen's on the first frame. 
the wood figure, trying to pull a frame without her, and, and where'd she go? I pull the frame that has her. This is a nice frame of brood, though. And she's doing a really good job. And she's right here. So I don't want to leave her out too long. And just pull one more frame and see what she does or what she's doing as far as laying and how they're making out with the comb. Uh, yeah, she's laying. And she's got this laid up on both sides. So, a nice job. And there's plenty of bees in this uh, in this hive also. So we have brood hatching out. And we have a queen that's continually laying. And they're still gathering. Yeah, she's doing a nice job. And this frame is almost a full frame of pollen. And nectar and pollen on this side. So, let me get her back in here. Yeah, she's still there. through the hives uh, briefly. I didn't do a full inspection, but my main goal was just to make sure that the hives were doing well, the queen was laying, and she was still in there. And both hives still have a queen. Both queens are laying, and we have plenty of brood ready to emerge. Right now, both hives are doing well, and we're gonna have to see what happens over time. I'm not an experienced beekeeper. This is my first year. It's more of just a, a sequence of videos to watch the progress and see what the bees do when you pretty much leave them on their own. I want to be able to come out here and talk about different things and I can't get it in my head to say what I wanted to say before I pulled into the yard and started opening the hives. Uh, once I get into the hives I really lose track of where I was or what I was going to say and um, this is where we end up. So thanks again for taking your time to watch my videos. Like, share, and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.